Hello all, and welcome to another well, video of my general thing. God, I just had a brain fart. Anyways, I've got this uh, YouTuber here called Philology... whatever it is. Um, uh, Philology Noir. And she's just released a video which I found pretty damn laughable at, and uh, I'm going to probably explain a couple of things as to, um, um, you know, what she's saying, responses that could have been, well, from a, uh, white man, <laughs> so, you know, she is extremely racist, um, completely missing the point, and about to just de deconstruct her argument, so let's watch. <laughs> Very nice intro, though. I do, I... Racism. Racism, sex. So, she's racist, though. How does that make sense? But, um, yeah, nice intro. No. Those out there with a melanin deficiency, it is not the job of black women to explain to you all in nauseam. The rem yes, that's correct. It's not a job of them, but... Well, it's not a job of, you know, black women to explain everything to us. Well, it's also not the job of us to explain everything to you. But I'm going to take my undivided attention and my own personal time to give you a, I guess, an, over, uh, an, an overview of what I think about your video here. Ramifications of racism and white supremacy. We are not obligated to educate you on our oppression that we have to experience daily, that you benefit from on the daily. It's not our job. You are not... Okay, but what about black supremacy and the things that you benefit from? You see that we all benefit from one thing or another. Sometimes, you know, cultural benefits, sometimes health benefits, and uh, not necessarily legal benefits. And that has been a very countless amount of times being thrown around, so I'm not exactly going to go in that, but more focus on this video entitled to our time you are not entitled to our labor you are not entitled to our kindness bitch you're not no we're, we're, we're not entitled we could ask you um and you can say no and if any you know if 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 they continue yeah sure they'd be maybe still asking the same question that you said no to and sometimes you can basically ignore them as a a bit of a silly individual rather than goddamn white people because you're a racist. You're not even entitled to a sliver of the sidewalk when we're walking outside. You're not entitled to What? Okay. So you saying that the things that we benefit from, yet you're saying what well, we're not entitled to, and we're not entitled to shit, including a sidewalk. Great start to your video. Only 41 seconds in. Ha. This is going to be good. What's up, my beautiful black babies? I'm welcome to another episode. I'm not black. So, uh, Falajni, why are now into... Today's episode, I just wanted to come and talk about how white people feel as if, you know, it's the job of black people, but black women in particular, to explain to them racism and sexism and- But you're doing it right now out of your own free time on your YouTube channel. It's not your job, you just chose to do it. Do you see how that your own energy and time has been spent into doing something that you want to do and you can say yes or no to various people individuals as you please that's your choice but i'm just letting you know also later on there is something that you do mention because i have watched i think two minutes of this video so far and i'd just like to kind of break it up and explain as i go so let's continue and massage noir and anything else they can think of on that random date just because they asked this i don't think that people be actually be coming up to you unless they're really weird stupid liberals that they'll come up to you and asking for advice on those subjects um, more people will be asking you as to start a debate or open you know a, a talk or uh, maybe a lesson to you on something but let's continue this is all sparked by a particular incident that happened on Tumblr. So anyway, I'm on Tumblr. I see that I got a message. Not surprising. You know, you get all happy when you got a message. It's like, oh, somebody want to talk to me. So yeah. Yeah, uh, 
uh, I get the thrillies when people send me messages. Just don't get too much yourself. I go in there and I see, oh, um, hello, sir slash ma'am. Um, is white privilege a thing? If so, elaborate. Yeah, he's looking to start possibly a debate. I would say that that will be an opening to a debate. Elaborate? Yes, elaborate. Do you know what that means? Which <laughs> was you demanding information from? Um, he's not demanding, he's asking. That is what kind people do. They ask for information. Whoops, I've got to log out of Discord. There we go. So yeah, he's asking for information. He's not demanding it from you. If you said, bitch now, please, that would be something completely different. But let's carry on. From first off, I don't think you're in the right place, sweetheart. If you don't know what right... Then tell him. Say no. Privilege is... This is kind of like racism one-on-one -on -one type shit, so if you don't even know what that is, like, you are very far behind. Hey guys, asking questions is now racist. <laughs> oh boy. If you're a black woman, that's fine. I will teach you all goddamn day. This is- Oh, see, there, racism. She said, oh yeah, you know, this is, you know, racism one-on-one, -on -one, blah, blah, blah. This is why should, people shouldn't ask me questions, because it's white male entitlement. And then saying, Oh, but if you're a black female, just because of, you know, factors that you can't control, I'm then going to teach you. <laughs> what? Y your whole entire argument is kind of... Is, is very, very quickly falling in on itself. Because you mentioned that you're against racism, yet you're pro-racism, and I don't understand this at this point in time. Like, what your point is, but I'm going to keep going. This is what I do, this is what I'm passionate about. But if you are anyone outside of the realm of a black woman, if you're not in that group specifically, girl, like, go to Google. Google. <laughs> uh, so, sexist, racist, and doesn't understand that, um, um, you know, Google doesn't have an... an individual's intellectual response on things. Sure, Google will respond, you know, display some information. Now, however, it does actually res display biased information, uh, such as if you type in, I think it's like European classical art or something, you would find that there's pictures of, um, well, Middle Easterns everywhere, whereas Europe is predominantly very white, blonde, ginger kind of place, if you know what I mean. Think Sweden and Germany. What, what happens when you, you know, other than, you know, in this year or the previous few years, like in the 90s, what would you think when you thought Germany or Sweden? I'd think some blonde, blonde eye, blue hair, um, you know, dainty, very, very white person. Just saying. Google is always free. I think I say that in like every one of my videos. Google is free, bitch. She is open 24-7. She is... <sighs> People know this. People very, very well know this. Are you presuming that this person may not know what Google is? Because they know what Google is. Though some people do have a problem using it. Okay. But they want an individual point of view and or to start a debate with you but you immediately reacting to hostility like this and actually making a video entirely about this, it seems as if you're not exactly open to, I, I guess, um, an, an, an opening of a, uh, a discussion or any kind of, any form of debate. But I'll allow you to continue. It's always busting out all the knowledge. She does not discriminate, okay? Like, Google is the hoe of information. I mean, if you really need to know something, you can go to Google, bitch, you ain't even... Yeah, you already stated that, and you just keep elaborating. But anyways, I'm doing this for fair use. I just want to space out the amount of, uh, you know, video I use, and then my response, and etc., etc., just to avoid all of that jazz and horrible shit. Anyways and gotta stay strictly with Google. You can go to Bing, girl, you can go to Yahoo. I'm Bing and Yahoo fucking suck. 
If I see somebody with a Yahoo or Bing toolbar, I say burn it with fire, cancer, cancer, just remove it. Physically remove it like what the Pinoche does to the left. The God Almighty Pinoche! Pinoche, rise and deal with this woman as well, please. But anyways, no, gonna keep containing the video. C containing, continuing the video. I mean, like, there's like a plethora of search engines that you can actually use to find information if you were really interested in unlearning bigoted ideology, but we all know that you're not. Unlearning bigoted ideology like, well, your black supremacy and mm, female supremacist bullshit. Maybe that will be a start for you as well. I don't know, you, you could actually, uh, you know, really get somewhere with, 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 that, um, uh, with, a, with that criticism. Not actually interested in learning, you just want to waste our time and then gaslight us as soon as we answer your fucking question. But gaslight. Hmm. I don't think they would. I think they'll more um, look at why you're wrong, A. B, what you should know. And see, yeah, there could be time wasters. I mean, you know, sometimes people's uh, uh, time is is what they define it as. And if you define it as time wasting, then fine, it could be time wasting to you. But sometimes it can actually be very beneficial to you. But that's besides the point. Let me really back in real quick. So yeah, he comes in there demanding information. Asking for it. And I politely direct him to my PayPal. I let him know that if PayPal is not his preferred method of payment, he can use my cash account by Squarespace. I Immediately asking for money. Professional crybaby much. I have two. Bitch, I'm multifaceted. You know, like if you don't like one, I got the other. He tried to say I thought, I thought she said multi-flaccid before. I was like, the fuck? Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I got that completely wrong. I'm also severely dehydrated for some reason. But anyways, let's continue. Some corny ass shit along the lines of, uh, well, you have to pay me $30 a fucking letter that I typed to reply to this. Ha 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 ha, bitch, ice cream. Yeah, he was trolling you. <laughs> he was fucking trolling you. Why didn't you just go, block, that's the end of it. And then continue with your merry day, extorting people for money for your bullshit, stupid bullshit. Anyways. And captured that conversation just with his response and then me responding back and i captioned it no free intellectual labor or fuck you pay me or some shit like that some, something along the lines of you paying me for the information that you expect me to give you you know how you pay for services you pay do well that for a product okay that's that's better not like the torn weird face beforehand but this is better anyways so if you wish to be paid do, do, do you make this abundantly clear i mean if you do fair enough but like you know this guy is already trolling you you have to ad admit that trolls do exist no matter how much you because the more that you make it clear and the more that you overreact and making it even more i guess um it's like somebody being um, prank called and then you say in your Facebook, don't prank call me guys, it's not funny, and you react in that way. Guess what 10 other people on your Facebook are going to do? They're going to grab your number and say, let's dial this motherfucker, I'm going to piss him off. It's just going to not, it's not going to work, it's just going to entice people to troll you a little bit more. I mean, I can see by, you know, some people that I know, they would love to troll the shit out of this person. But... I'm not going to, I'm just going to do this response. But, I mean, shit, you pay for education nowadays. I mean, you don't get to go to school for free unless you're going to public school, and that's only up to high school. And public education is abomination, so you're kind of fucked, aren't you? Oh, wait, you are anyway. Fuck. Anyways. So I don't even understand why you expect me, a stranger, to answer all of your questions just because you asked them. Oh. Yeah, the, this is what I do as well. At the kindness of my own heart, I, nine times out of ten, just answer questions straight up. Unless they are loaded questions. If they're loaded questions like, hey, Badger, um, you know, when will you stop being a racist? I'll be like... Well, that's an ad hominem, end of conversation, sorry. 
and move on. But you see, when if, if you wish to encourage debate and do things for free, this is a cause that you're looking at. This is a cause, this is an educational cause. Why wouldn't you just make lots of YouTube videos like this to please the liberal left? You could make money off that, like what the Young Turks do, for example. You can make money off this, capitalize on it, and then you can spread the good word through other means other than um, monetiza monetization by encouraging debate. Oh, wait, I know why. You're white! <laughs> I know why. Because you're white. Yeah, that that the pigmentation on my skin really does say that I'm gonna waste your time, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, boy. Like, how 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 do you get to the point where you're just like, okay, and this 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 person's pigmentation on his skin reflects to if he's gonna waste my time or not. It it makes no sense. You can you can pick up social cues. Social cues are very different to race because social cues is what somebody does. Because if you're if you're walking around a car, for example, a car yard, nervous and you're scratching your head and you're looking at weird places on the car, it may not it may seem as if you're not exactly like inclined to make a correct decision on a on a car and you're probably going to make a mistake and then the you know, Mr. Salman can, you know, milk you for some money here and there, you know. Um, and the same way with, you know, if it's just a white person, if you presume, you know, this kind of level of, um, of, of I, I, I guess, I guess disdain for people asking you for like a bit of information, just because the pigmentation of your skin proves that you are a racist. And don't give me that power or privilege thing, because Obama's the president now. Don't give me that bullshit of power and prejudice bullshit. Yeah. So yeah, basically when I screen capture that or whatever and I put it on Tumblr, girl, they just like ascended into my Ascended. They ascended. I like that. She's just it, it's it sounded funny. But she, yeah, it's it's quite obvious that she's on Tumblr anyway, but yeah, that was just a silly remark, don't worry. My motherfucking bitches, I mean just one after the other. Fuck this cunt bitch, this white fucking bitch. People like this piss. Did you? She created herself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, it's, just, it's a funny, funny fuck up. Um, you know, of course people are going to be like that. Yet again, I see trolls. And you're overreacting to these trolls, and you're giving them, I, I, I guess, a platform to be heard and stood on. Of course they're going to make you feel like shit. I mean, if I was a professional troll, I'll, I'll make you feel the most shit because you're reacting the most. So, um, don't react and you won't get that, and just continue, ma and continue making your videos. Don't react to any of them, just keep going. Keep selling your boat. Sailing your boat. This is why, you know, people usually on the right, and I'm not talking about the alt quote unquote right, um, I'm talking about the right such as um, Julie Borowski, Lauren Southern, Nigel Farage, people like that, who would much rather ignore all the defamatory statements and just say, okay, but can we talk about the issue? Rather than using those defamatory statements and carrying them on, that's called professional vict victimization, professional victimization, to garner, I guess, sympathy votes, sympathy likes, sympathy, I, I guess, uh, transactional sympathy, if you wish to go, oh, fucking hell, sound like an SJW already, fucking damn it. Um, they 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 more they more look at you know what you have to say. Some people on the left do this as well. Given some people on the left do this, it's mostly the the, the people who are either centrist or more on the right, such as you know from you know central ish left Sargon, who's becoming more right wing, and I love to see his I love to see his progress to things like that guy T, where somebody will say you know you you you're this one. 
I, I, I believe somebody called him a race traitor at some time. I don't know if it's that guy T or somebody else, but they just basically said, eh, got anything else to say? Psh, that's what I like about it. But, you know, you're, you're feeding off trolls. You're feeding the trolls. Don't feed the trolls. Me off just finding things to be irritated with and wow, he came in there so nice and you still responded with fuck you pay me. Your cause is never going to get any attention. It it's not if you demand payment from everybody. You're still very, like, filigree noir. You're, let's see, you got 5,807. There are people with 200,000 plus subscribers which don't, I guess, uh, e beg or just beg in general, or demand services. Of course, if they wish to, you know, in 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 my own words, because I, I'm actually quite politically inclined to to make such a decision. But you know, your time isn't worth any money for me. Um, simply by the case of you are going to spit out the same bullshit that I hear from the liberal left of institutional sexism, institutional racism and all this misogyny stuff that I, I, I hear on a daily basis and I, I hear it in the in the in the main media and where I live as well and I hear it from people's mouths as well where 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 I where I live um, at least once a week. It's nothing new to me. I it's I can just go out to the city and meet a few liberals and then you know talk talk about something with politics and they'll give me probably a little bit more of a first answer than you. But anyways, if this is how you treat your allies, <laughs> went all the way, went all the way with that shit. Call that nigga an ally. He don't even know what white privilege is. A ally, like the the only the only diversity that you care about is not you really even diverse it's just somebody that fits within your own little um you know female and black you do not care about intellectual diversity i for example do what what how boring how boring would the life would the internet be without any debates without any hurdles to overcome that's why you know, in, 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 in my time, like, you know, because I was away for a while, I was dealing with a lot of things, um, you know, I overcome those hurdles and it was fun to un overcome them. So this, this, this person doesn't understand. Just better, just, let's carry on. Girl, where? Where do they do that at? Please inform me. Give me the coordinates. One, we don't need you guys. And if you feel as if we need you guys to get our point across, or if you feel that we need you guys in order for our message to be valid, I mean, fucking... You're, you're the one spreading the message. Of course, that you are the second part. If, if there isn't a com communication or any kind of social, uh, I, I, I guess, community of where thoughts are being tossed around, there need to be more than one parties. If you are going to say, like, you don't need us to say anything, well, you know, would like your point of view on things that that's the that's the entire point we're not we're, we're definitely not entitled you are correct about that but what that person was doing was not entitlement it was asking and asking again and from what i presume from the rest of the video maybe asking again or not i'm not sure but anyways message this is our lives literally if we have to abide by your rules and regulations on how we deliver that message so basically you tone policing us if you need all of that in order for you to believe that we're actually telling the truth bitch you ain't no fucking ally and we don't um talk about tone policing how's that uh, sjw bullshit that's going for you hmm you talk about tone policing like y you know y you say like oh look at me i'm going through these strifes and you know i'm I'm, I'm being ridiculed, I'm being shot down, I'm being, you know, riled against. Why, why don't you look at what the right are getting? Why don't you look at what, you know, us, people who are on the opposite side to you, are getting? You know, I understand that liberals get a lot of shit, but because they often lose arguments, and it's fucking hilarious to see them, because... 
you, you see this all the time in, you know, Trump rallies and everything, the Trump protesters are just there mingling, mingling around, and in come the people who are against them from all these different creeds of whatever they, the hell they believe in. Some are, you know, black nationalists, some are, you know, these communists, and some of them are quote-unquote anarchists, but they're actually communists. And then you see the people who are more centrist who are there just to encourage debate and mingle, and then they just get more angry. Like centrist left. So, you, you know, you see the Trumps, Trump people there delivering logic bombs, and then, you know, the left get a little bit rowdy and start assaulting them, and of course then it, it breaks up in, you know, the Trump supporters leaving because, you know, of the how fascist these opposing groups can be most of the time. So, you know, if you're talking about tone policing, it's off your own ilk, lady. We don't need you. We don't need any of you motherfucking guys. So if you really feel like you want to hop up into my video and my comments and my mentions with that white savior complex, bitch, you can exit stage left. I know, like... Exit stage left. I think I'll exit stage right. That's just my preferred side. But also, you don't get to tell me what to do, so that's a little bit hypocritical for you to say. I'm not asking you not to say this, I'm just criticizing you. And I'm not demanding anything from you, I'm not entitled to anything that, um, you know, entitled to any of your time. In fact, I wouldn't even be pissed if you just didn't make a response to this video, I don't really care. Um, as long as I'm, I, I myself have made this channel to spread a message. Um, for free using my own time. I'm tired as shit. It is 1.23 a.m. And um, I've got work at 10. So basically, if you're looking at, uh, uh, you know, who, who's putting in, you know, more, um, I, I guess, I guess, uh, personal time involved, uh, I'm, I'm doing this in my own accord to you, not expecting anything back. So I don't need to leave the stage. I'm going to stay on this stage right here my podium thank you like on my channel i kind of rage at black dudes a lot because like i have an immediate proximity to black dudes but because you're sexist because they're not black women they're black dudes uh okay i get it don't you for a second bitch think that i won't come for your ass too don't come up into my shit what, what was was that a threat but anyways Demanding that I educate you on something that you can find for free like that So so are you saying that because we can find our stuff for free that your teachings are actually basically worthless literally worthless on the market and If you're going to put yourself on this market down How do you think that people are going to pay for any of your services anyway? Given a few people because there are idiots on this planet after all or people who are very very um I guess uh, people like Milo, who would probably pay you anyway to kind of get messages from you and spread them around and say, this is actually what people believe. This is scary. Somebody with a lot of money and a lot of guts. <laughs> Anyways. That shit really pisses me off. Like, you really feeling as if you're entitled to my time. No. Yet again, asking. You really feel like I am obligated to educate you on something or what I'm saying. Because most people don't say, give money, please. When, you know, when they're looking to uh, do anything political. Mo most, most people will, sorry, like uh, state anything political, especially on a small time, or fairly small time, I'm... My channel's very small at the moment, but it'll probably catch up, hopefully quite soon. But you know, like uh, you know, given me, me myself as well, I've, I, I, I would, I wouldn't charge anybody for any advice at this point in time unless it is very big, um, a, a very big, I guess, um, you know. Can I talk to you about a few subjects? And I'm, and they say, hey, look, I'll pay you. I'll gladly accept that payment. But you know. You saying, oh yeah, you know, I, I do um, all, all of this, you know, kind of paid stuff. It's a little bit under-marketed. Uh, if, if you were somebody as big as Sargon, if you were somebody as big as, um, say for example, um, um, who's that? Um, is, uh, fuck. 
<laughs> that face though. Um, it's not like anarchy ball, it's like something mouse. That guy. Um, I, I, I forget what he's called, like anarch anarchy mouse or something. That that British cuck. Like also on the left, like somebody as big as Channel Zez or um, libertarian socialist rants, that, that, that douche as well. You know, given that their channels are quite big and, you know, they have a lot of, I guess, um, commotion going on down that kind of sphere, you'd be more, like, people would be more inclined to pay for their services, but not even they state that they'd pay for this, the state that they would, um, you know, s sell, I guess, their, their time for any service. But anyways of no relevance or it has no validity. Girl, like you are not handing out the slips of validation. Like girl, you do not matter. Your opinions do not matter. I Your opinions do not matter, but mine do and they're supreme everything. Okay, but you know, shutting down another person's opinion just like that without even hearing them out is quite ridiculous. I would I would hear them out. Okay, get, get, try try this. Hear them out. If they say something stupid, then you can call it invalid. How about that? I care about and I work towards uplifting, empowering, and mobilizing Black women. That's it, though. That that that's it. Well, actually, what you can do is you can make the Black women not feel like victims. You give, can give them tools into, uh, you know, actually um, securing a job dealing with, uh, you know, like, uh, dealing with things that possibly go on within the black community, such as the ex extremely high, um, single mother rate, uh, within the black community of women. You could also deal with, uh, you know, unemployment, or oh, yeah, I've already said getting a job. Um, also incarceration rates. Um, you can also help with, uh, you know, um, basically, uh, advice of, um, you know, um, the, 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 the poor uh, in need of housing and, you know, extremely democratic places such as Dem uh, Detroit, um, you know, those who happen to be black women as well. There's, there's a big market out for you there, kind of, I guess. But um, if you weren't actually sexist and racist, you could actually um, gain, I guess, more capital with that and more subscribers. But because you, this, this is why the free market's great. Um, you know, the black supremacists can stay in their own little kind of place that so can the white supremacists. I hate both of them. And, you know, everybody else can kind of stay in their little pockets. But also there there would be some people that would want to cater for all and et cetera, et cetera. And then there'll be the big, you know, the people who cater to all will generally amass more wealth than people who usually kind of keep their companies within that uh, you know, supremacist or little group area, even if it's just like a little social pocket or something. Um, g generally, that's it. So with this lady, how she only caters to the demographic of black and woman, she'll only really make those sales because then she would, well, as I said before, not making them feel victimized. She's making them feel victimized. Well, mo some, some, I'm not going to say all. It's, it's not really that possible, but, you know, black women who pr would probably watch this will be like, yeah, 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 I know, I'm right, I'm right, pat on the back, pat on the back, I'm going to pay her money to, you know, give me some more of this cod's wallop, and then she'll be spreading it, and then she'll be spewing it, basically for free, so you've got to also work, watch out for that. That's it. So if you fall outside of those realms, I don't know what to tell you. Actually, I well, I'm a white male, so I guess that this is the end of my video. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to watch the rest of this. I don't know what to tell you. Fuck you. Pay me. Girls, black... How about I don't pay you? My girls, my black, beautiful black babies, charge these niggas. If they're... Whoa, 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 whoa. So are you talking about the black men here? Or are you talking about the white men? Or are you talking about anybody other than black women? charge them if you're talking about legally a with what if you're talking about physically you fucking fascist
they're asking you for questions if they're asking you to explain things in like super long formatted uh explanations and they want you to explain shit that you've already explained to a million people girl offer them your rates and then they will have the option to agree or disagree I then you won't be spreading the message. That's not what you're getting. If you explain things in detail, they can A, either teach you something about it, or B, they can take in all the information that they've heard it, they've registered it. They can even say to somebody, some dumb broad said to me, this bullshit, okay? Giving your information out for free is best for your cause. Okay, rather than being selfish, you can go ahead and do this for, well, free. I'm not monetizing any of my videos just yet. Because, well, you know, I... Although, you know, like, my this this is my hobby. This These videos are my hobby. For now. <laughs> but, if, if you are really interested in making capital, maybe this is not your fine point. Maybe, you know, tweak a few things. Maybe maybe open up the floor to liberals as a whole. Maybe don't be a sexist, racist person as yourself. I do a lot of motherfucking work and it is very mentally and emotionally taxing to do all of this work just for people to come and say, one, you're being too sensitive or teach me more. Yeah, because people want information. And usually, when people say, hey, give me information, 99% of the time people will be compliant and be like, oh, yeah. And the 1% who say, oh, no, are either, well, scared or now it seems asking for money. I didn't even realize that this thing existed, but now it seems as if uh, there's a really bad thing for a stupid market idea. Thank you so much for watching, guys. No worries, no worries. I will catch you in the motherfucking next video. I don't even know why I curse. There was no reason to curse. There was no reason. Yeah, there was, apart from I did. And you did. And we curse for no reason, so meh. Reason to curse. I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. See you later, guys. Bye. Cool. I would be glad to watch your next video and comment on that as well, on possibly criticize. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. This is The Badger, and uh, if it's morning, Good morning, if it's afternoon, good afternoon, if it's evening, good evening, and if it's night, fuck off and go to bed.